Look at this shit. We can't even use our fucking road. They got our whole road blocked off. It doesn't tell you anything about that coming from the other direction. It doesn't tell you that they blocked our road off. So, that sucks fucking dick. We can't use the other side of our road. How the fuck do I get out of my neighborhood? What the hell, man? They got our shit blocked off with no signs telling us our shit's blocked off. In the state of Florida, MOTC law, that's illegal. These are not county workers. These are the people putting all the fiber optics in over here. They've got all of our roads blocked off with no signage. There's not one sign. It just says utility workers, slow ahead. I'm going slow ahead. They got my shit all blocked off. We can't get through. So I'm going to turn this into the county and let them know they're blocking roads. So I guess we'll go to the county. See, it says minute work. It does not say road blocked. Look. They got our neighborhood blocked out. We can't get down the fucking road. That's illegal in Florida. Fucking statutes. This is crazy, bro. Every damn worker on their fucking crew is a fucking Mexican. They're not one fucking white person on their crew. This is nuts, bro. That's the, the house that just went past. That's the house full of illegal immigrants. Did you see all those fucking cars? Fucking 12 cars in a damn driveway. They don't even have any furniture in their house. They were given a brand new fucking house. And they sleep on the floor in there, all of them. They have no furniture in that house whatsoever. The door was open earlier today and I was able to see inside the house. They have no furniture inside that house, none. All illegal immigrants living in there. This is Port Charlotte, Florida. So all of you that think DeSantis gives a fuck about the people of Florida, and when it comes to immigration, he doesn't. He doesn't do anything for us here. You know what e-verification does in the state of Florida? It means every time you, an American citizen, get a job here, you're ran through e-verification. It's not just for illegal immigrants. You're ran through e-verification and all of your information is sent to the FBI under e-verification. That's what e-verification is. You're verified through the FBI and through the federal government. So that's all e-verification does in the state of Florida is fucks the citizens here. Because the illegal immigrants come down with driver's license from California and New York and yes, Texas driver's license, Texas tags all over their vehicles when their illegal immigrants come in here and they can legally get housing here. They can legally get jobs here. So don't think that DeSantis is really doing anything. Look, no signs, no cones. You got a car parked halfway in the fucking road, fucking truck blocking the road. So if I hit one of these, they're at fault. These people are at fault. I'm not gonna not go. Look, no cones back here, no signs letting us know. Nothing, this is what happens. Immigrants that don't give a fuck about your laws or your countries. All of these roads are blocked. All of these roads that I'm about to go down right now, they're all blocked in our neighborhood. That person can't even get out of their driveway. That's why their car is parked in the fucking road because they're blocking their driveway with no cones and no signs out. This is fucking, this is how, this is Charlotte County standard. If you have a bunch of illegal immigrants on your crew, they don't fuck with you. If you're a law-abiding citizen and you're um, county licensed here, they fuck with you hard about the ordinance. If I were to do that, right, and they've done it to me. I just posted a video. They called, the county called the fucking cops on me for sitting in front of my house on my street because I didn't have cones out behind my truck and I'm a legally licensed business. So if you think that my statement is wrong, go back and watch my video where the cops harassed me on the side of the road when 10 other people were also sitting on the side of the road and didn't have cones out. So it's everywhere, guys. It's not just in the cities. The cops are corrupt in my little hick town too. The cops hate patriots. They don't like anyone that enacts the constitution. That's just universal. The cops hate anybody that likes the constitution universally. It's not just a city thing. It's not just a here or there thing. It's everywhere. They're all corrupt tyrant pieces of crap that will gladly lock you in a box when given the order. I've even asked officers here, why aren't you at the border with the rest of the sheriffs in Florida? Oh, because we got to be here. <laughs> we, we don't care to go there. We don't care to deal with that situation. We got to be here. So... It is what it is. They didn't say we got to be here to keep this community safe. They said we got to be here to enact the laws of Florida. Well, right now, the laws of Florida are contrary to what the citizens are because they just, listen, once again, we've already got super strict theft laws in Florida. I did five years in prison for a $300 item. Five years in prison for a $300 item that I didn't even actually steal. 
but somebody said I did, so the state attorney picked up the charges. The victim never even showed up to court. The state attorney picked up the charges, charged me with not only one felony, with a bunch of fucking felonies. They split up every case and charged me with a bunch of different felonies and made it look like a bunch of different cases when they were all the same case, okay, and gave me five years in prison my first time ever being arrested. And I watched the time I was in there, the year and a half I was in county fighting this and what I thought was going to be a trial, and then they denied me a trial when trial came. Um, they gave me the ultimatum, 105 years in prison or five years in and five years out. So if you don't know what that is, that means five years on prison and five years on probation. So technically 10 years in the system for a $300 item, which isn't even grand theft in the state of Florida, but that's what they charged me with. It, it should have been misdemeanor charges. And because I had so many charges they tried to hit me with on my first offense, they tried to get, I've been arrested three times in my entire life. They tried to get, after I was 30, they tried to get me for being a lifetime career criminal. <laughs> because see, what you don't understand is the state attorney gets paid for every person they put in prison. They get a bonus check for every month for every person they put in prison. The, the state actually pays the state attorney to put you in prison. Their job's not to find out if you're innocent or not. Their job is literally to put you in prison. When every single person... I got off um, probation four years early. I only did one year on probation, and then they let me go. They said, no, you don't need to be on probation. We're going to let you go. Because I complied with everything. I paid everything off immediately. I worked my ass off, and I did what was right as a law-abiding citizen. So, it's just not... Probation is made to where people can't really fucking... Um, do anything i don't know i got this guy following me so we're about to find out uh they just kept going <laughs> i pulled in here and they kept going um anyway it's it's a rigged system there's no such thing as free and fair justice in america anymore and i don't think there ever will be again all the judges are corrupt they just do what the cops say they take the cops word as if it's a fucking staple like it's permanent and um, they don't have to show any actual evidence because they didn't have any evidence that I stole anything. As a matter of fact, I told them I didn't. They just based their evidence literally off of what the victim said. The victim could show no proof of ownership. They said everything was stolen brand new out of the boxes. This stuff had been sitting in their house for 10 years in the boxes, brand new, never opened. All, every item together equaled $300. Keep that in mind. They would never check the prices for me. It was all cheap Amazon shit. Fucking, it's just dumb. I had drug addict roommates, and they were fucking having me pawn shit because they don't have identification. And they stole a PlayStation 5 from me, or PlayStation 4 from me at the time that it was out, that I had rented from Rena Center. And I could prove it was mine, and I could prove they sold it. And I reported that. And then two days later, they started reporting stuff stolen. The officer verified that that's what happened. The officer verified I reported my item stolen, then all of a sudden they started reporting items stolen. Well, they got together with a person I used to work with that sold me a tool that I was suing. Okay, keep in mind, when I got arrested, the supposable crimes happened four years before that. The supposable misdemeanor crimes that got intensified to felonies, this was four years before anyone reported anything stolen. Okay? So, supposedly a tool that this company used on a daily basis, they didn't know it was missing for a year, or they knew it was missing, and then once the lawsuit went through, for me, and it was verified that I was going to win the lawsuit, they went straight to the pawn shop, Saw the tool on the counter knowing I was going to sell it because I knew I can get more out of it than I paid for it. And said, oh, that's mine. It's stolen. A year later. A year later. Okay. Isn't there a statute of limitations on a uh, misdemeanor crime anyway? Four years later, the detective comes to me and arrests me. And by the way, the detective got fired for improperly handling my case and I still went to prison. 
So my life's been fucked up ever since. Ever since. They bombarded my name on Fox News here, on NBC, on ABC, in every single paper for two weeks. I was the front page of the paper for that little thing there. When there were murder cases going on in my town. Okay. So when you piss local officials off in your town, there is no justice. When you are a freedom warrior and you care about the Constitution, there is no justice. I love you guys. I just felt like venting that today because things are just getting real stupid in my town. Every church in my town is now a corporate church. They no longer help people unless you fill out a corporate ap application. It takes five weeks just to find out if you're approved for the help. And then it takes another couple weeks to get the help. So they have to actually send it to a corporate office in another state somewhere that has never even been inside the church. So I want you to keep in mind, I'm not complaining, but every church that's an actual verified church in America does not pay taxes. They're tax exempt. When they buy products from the store, they take their church identification with them and they're tax exempt. They pay taxes on nothing at the churches. Okay. Plus they get tidings. Plus, they get state funding, plus they get federal funding specifically to help people. So any church that you walk into that's a good-sized church is more than likely federal-funded and state-funded organizations that are taking that money and just building mass conglomerate churches and turning people into corporate Christians instead of actually having a decent church that helps people the way Jesus said they were supposed to. Because Jesus went to the corporate churches and he busted them up, remember? He busted up the people at the corporate churches and said, you don't know my name. You will not come to my father. I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Oh, my phone will be off tonight at midnight and so will my car insurance. So the Trump truck will not be on the road anymore for a while and I won't be posting any videos. I love you guys. If I can get on Wi-Fi to post some videos, I'll post some here and there, but I love you. Just be blessed.